Good morning, guys. So it's a rainy, dreary day outside, so I don't plan on doing too much. I hate driving in the rain, so I'll probably stay home. The husband might be coming home early today. I don't know. It just depends if he's working inside or outside. If he's outside, he'll definitely be coming home because of the rain. He's been there a couple hours, so I'm kind of confused why he's not already home. He hasn't texted me either. The problem was is he thought he was going to come home within the first two hours. And he's been there a couple hours already. So I think it's just they're keeping them to maybe clean up around the shop or something. I'm not really sure. Since they really can't work out in the rain while they're trying to weld and whatnot. Because welding doesn't go well with rain. So yeah, it's the house is pretty clean since I cleaned it yesterday and all I have is some trash I need to take out, but it's raining, that's why I don't want to do it. I don't know. It's I want to vlog today since I'm home because I work a bunch of days coming up and the problem is I don't vlog on my days off and then I don't put a video up and I like putting up videos, it's exciting. I like talking to you guys in the comments um, and it's just, it's fun, it's fun communicating with you guys. So, let's, let's see what today brings me. Alright, so I cut up my watermelon. I was going to do it yesterday, but I never got around to it. I think this is the juiciest watermelon I've had all summer. So, I'm going to chow down a melon for breakfast. So, yeah. Mmm! So me and the hubs are headed off to Ikea. I'm super excited because I haven't been to Ikea in, I don't know, maybe six, seven months. It's been a while. So it's raining like crazy outside right now, as you can tell. So he's keeping the, his eye on the road, and I'm just wearing junky clothes. And hopefully I'll get some stuff to put together when I get home. As you can see, it's been raining like crazy, and all that is flooded, like mega crazy awesome. That's nuts. So I made curry chicken with naan and some rice. So that's what we're having for dinner, and our yard's flooded, which I'll show you that in a little bit. So it's absolutely crazy outside. The husband just went to the neighbor's house and it's been raining probably for a good, I don't know, 15, 16 hours here. And the people I just showed you, my husband just went over there to see if he could help out or any way just to like drainage issues, but there's nothing they can do. Luckily, they don't have a basement, I guess, but their garage that they use is totally flooded and there's nothing, you know, they can do until it just kind of dries up. And we thought our backyard was bad. Like, it is completely nutso out there. And it's supposed to start raining again. They don't know what else to do. But, this is crazy. <laughs> so I thought I would show you what I got. I got these really thick straws for my drinks. And they're in fun colors, so I really like them. And then I also got some more. Um, these were a dollar ninety nine or something like that. So these are really good for thick uh, smoothies and stuff. And then I got two of these just to organize my makeup tour. And I got 30 um, Singlig candles, which smell awesome, and a trash can, and a rug, and this little candle holder. All that stuff. It's cute. So we'll see. But it's just crazy. <sighs> All right, it looks like they're coming over here for something, so I'm gonna put the camera down. So that's the rug I bought from Ikea. It's not staying in here, it's gonna go in the extra bedroom. So I just have the chairs all sprawled out it, so it can kind of flatten out for when it's ready to go in there. Just because when I took first took it out, it's so spirally, it needs a lot of time. And I'll show you what's in there now. Um, it's pretty filthy, what this rug is. So, it was quite dark. So that's what's here now, but it's just so dirty because it's so white. And that's why I bought a black rug, so it's not as bad. Do you guys want to see? My husband just went to the neighbors to help them pump out their basement and help get water out of there. Because it's a disaster, their backyard. But uh, I'll show you our house. And luckily we don't, well, 
Yeah, I can open this. Okay, luckily we don't have too much flooding. So this is what's going on here. It's all underwater. The whole side of the house is underwater. Um, it's coming up pretty close to this, especially over here, but that's okay. And then we have this. I don't know if you can hear me because there's a stream coming through. I am having my smoothie that I have every morning, the spinach, mixed fruit, and I'm going to throw this Vita Coco. I have a little straw to drink with it. In the microwave, I have just finished two of these. Um, these are egg whites. I made them last week. And then with the egg whites, I'm going to do a handful of melon on the side. And that is going to be my breakfast. So very fruity, but that's okay. Fruit is good for you. All right, so let's get started. So today I'm starting a project. It is going to be a chalkboard wall just right here. I think this is cute. So I can write to-do list or things we need to do. With the next three months, we're doing a lot of little weekend trips. Um, just because we didn't do anything all summer. I didn't really take off work for anything this summer, so I feel like now is the time. I do get a paid uh, week vacation, so in November, instead of doing anything in December, like we're gonna do like a cruise, we're gonna skip that and just do a camping trip instead. So I'm going to start painting. Can you guess what it is? Pretty obvious, it's gonna be a chalkboard wall. I added um, extra flax seeds at the very end, just so it's extra healthy for me and I get all my nutrients in. So, yeah, that made a perfect batch right there. So, that's going to be a nice green juice. And you know what turned out great is, when I was buying these, I'm like, I need new straws just so, I feel dirty keep using the old straws because for some reason I feel like they don't get cleaned like all the way through. See, you can see that gunk in there. And every time I want to drink one, I have to like soak it in hot water and like scrub it the best I can. This way, I can get a new clean one every time. And I feel fresh and it matched the lid. How cute. All right, I got the first coat done. So I just gotta wait for this to dry. And it's about four hours that I add another coat. The more I look at it, the more I kinda wanna go higher. I don't know. I think I'll like it like this though. I'm not sure yet, but we will see when we get there, I guess. But it's turning out good so far. All right, as you can tell, it is finished and I think it turned out awesome. So I'm super excited. I had to wait three days to put any chalk on it and it's gotta dry. It's still wet. I took the tape off of it, but it's pretty awesome. I had no bleeding anywhere other than just the very, very, very top. And it's so subtle, it's even hard to tell. Like you really have to be staring at it to see the bleeding. But this turned out awesome. Um, the lines are pretty straight and it looks great. I'm so excited to use it. It's gonna just be a couple days, but then I can start chalking it up. All right, the husband's home. Let's see what he thinks about the chalkboard wall. Um, he's getting out of his car now. Hello. What? Come look in the kitchen. Mm, there's some black on the wall. Mm-hmm. It's all clean. No, what do you think? Did you paint it? Yeah. What'd you paint? Look. I know, I told you, it's black. Guess what it is? Chalkboard. Yes. Yeah. I gotta wait till it's totally dry. Yeah. So I just got done conditioning with my chalkboard. So it's probably been, I don't know, an hour since it's been up there. You're supposed to leave it for three days. I don't understand why, because it's only two coats of paint. And I did the start of this like two hours ago. So I feel like it's fine. So I conditioned it. So now I just got to wait. And then I can draw all over it. But I'm really excited. It turned out great. Looks good. All right. So I finished decorating my chalkboard wall. It's pretty cool. I really like the markers. Those are like the bomb.com. Because they show up the best. Like the chalk does okay. Like I wrote down here with the chalk. 
but the markers just pop out so much more vibrant. And I really like them. And you need a wet paper towel to kind of get them off, which is nice. And with this, it smudges all over the place, but that's okay. I don't know if you saw that, but yeah, markers are pretty cool. And they're like neon almost, which is awesome. But it turned out great. It looks perfect, so I did a good job. I just have to paint my husband with chalkboard paint so I can write all over him so he remembers what to do. All right. So this is what I got. It's a large ice cream cone covered in chocolate. Like Too really much. large. <laughs> yeah, for $2. And he got a chocolate milkshake. We go to Ann's Dairy Cream. And they've been around for 64 years. So I'm going to chow down. So I just hopped out of the shower and I want to say goodnight to you guys. I like Hanky Poo to say goodnight too. Night. He's just watching the tube, I guess, or looking at buying stuff. But yeah, I'm really proud of my chalkboard. It turned out great. Um, I don't know if I showed you earlier that I wrote on it. I did like little art at the bottom, the palm trees. I should have drew a little sharky. I got everything done besides the bed sheets, which was awesome. And yeah, so super exciting. Got work to tomorrow. I work like nine or ten hours. Which is absolutely ridiculous, but that's okay. So, tomorrow's going to be a busy day. It's going to be Saturday. So, I'm going to get to bed early tonight. So, good night, guys.